Ooh, are you sure? The energy is too strong to deny. Are we building a bridge? Is it good energy? I can't tell, but I know it's important we go to that side. Building a bridge? And we'll find out. So Jin, the leader, and, and Vax saying that there's good, or possible good, energy on the other side of this river here. Interesting. The more I meditate, the more I think you need to join us when we cross the river. Okay, understood, sir. I don't know much about the spirits, but I trust Vak. At least we're not traveling for a season this time. True that. Maybe Patrick wants us to call over there to find new paints. A girl can dream, can't she? Absolutely! Hey, Kroll. Plenty of stuff on this side of the river, but if Jen says we need a bridge, I'll build it. Okay, it doesn't seem like they need our help. Oh, is this right beside our farm, though? It is! In the bigger section. Cool beans. Well, welcome back to Roots of Pacha, guys. Uh, last time we did a whole bunch of work in the caves and ooh, we need to go see Acre to pick up our brand new axe. We found Flint and we've just started to discover our first first tools. So our hand axe will be a thing of the past. Let's pick up some of these wild tomato seeds that we got here. That map is so, so handy to be able to find people now. Are you going to have this for me? <gasps> Yay! It's going to last for years. I love it. Sha! I know Ada sneaks doing Ivan's chores. I'm not sure if I should be mad or not. Okay, other tools. I I I want to make the hammer as well. Needs contribution. Oh, okay. All right. So we've we've got to we've got to make some contributions for being able to earn that tool. So I want to give at least one of these. And I'm thinking about going and doing some fishing to do some more contributions. Fishing is very, very relaxing and I'm feeling like just taking it slow today. So I could go back into the cave and do some more mining and try to do some more challenges, but I'm gonna go water my crops, number one. <laughs> and then I think I'll join uh, Frere for some fishing today. Lots of crops to water. I am so excited and proud of our little farm that we've got going on here. Let's go ahead and plant what other seeds that we found. And our well is so handy that Vada made for us. It's so nice that I don't have to go all the way back to the river where Frere is to be able to refill. That would take us years. Okay, we've got some carrots that are almost ready. Plant some more tomatoes. Any other seeds? Nope. Let's get a refill. So many different kinds of plants too. This is so cool. All right, I want to try out our new axe. Maybe on these little trees they'll work? What about the bigger ones? Oh, I can. Okay, I'm assuming these are going to grow back. I wonder how many swings. Okay. Oh, I don't know if... Oh, hardwood. Yes. Okay, so we could make a bucket. I'm assuming the trees here in town are going to grow back. It does take us a lot of stamina, though. That's okay. That's totally all right. That's something we'll get better at with time, I'm sure. Okay, so the smaller trees give us regular wood. The larger trees get us hardwood. And we can now take care of wood on the farm with one hit. That's nice. We got an Ibex to trust us. Ibex trusts you now. If only you had a place for animals in our clan. Oh, new idea. Open the journal. Let's see. Let's open. Let's see. Who can we talk to? Akka and Kroll. All right. It takes us so much time to travel the known lands. Akka might have an idea that can help. Ooh. And then our animal friends seem to miss us when we're gone. Kroll thinks he can help. All right. Let's see what we can do. I want to go find these folks and start on these new ideas. Oh, I got wild boars too. He trusts us now. Kroll has an idea. Yes, we will have to talk to Kroll about making a place for our animals. Can I can I attune with with the wolves too? Yes. I want all the animals.
Cool. Aw, lots of hearts. All right, we are making our way back into the village. We need to talk to Akka and Kroll for them to talk to us about their new ideas. Now, I might stop by the... Whoops. I might stop by the farm here first to pick up some materials. I'm not sure what they might need, but everything is so close here that um, I'll go ahead and grab some items here. Hardwood, flint. You never know what you might need. There we go. Now, let's see if we can catch them before they head to bed for the night. Right here. They might already be asleep. Yep. Can I talk to you even though you're asleep? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> All right, but we'll have to wait until tomorrow. Time for us to get some rest too, and we can talk to them about the ideas in the morning after we water all of our crops. All right, contributions. How much did I do? 199. We're almost at 8,000 prosperity. And I am over the 300 mark, so I should be able to uh, ask Acre to make me that hammer now. Your place in the world. I can now build my own house. Yes! I want to build a house. Yes! Okay. Whenever you're ready to move out, Kroll can build you a house. Okay, so now we have multiple things to talk to Kroll about. Got you, got you, got you. Ooh, too much to carry. Upgrading your belts. No, I don't want to play my flute. But thanks, though. <laughs> I have some belts to exchange if you need to carry more. Thanks. Cool. Okay, so we need to talk to... Oh, what's her name? It starts with a J? Yeah, Jizu. Jizu. Lots of things to do. Are you awake? Get up! <laughs> I need to talk to all y'all. <laughs> Where's your dad at? <laughs> Is he out working on the bridge already? He might be. Let's see. He is. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let me let me go talk to Akka first. And see if Jizu is up as well. Let's see. Good morning! Animals sure are fast. If only if we could go as fast as them. We could reach places faster and carry things from further away. Yes, any root. Okay, so you need like potatoes or... Oh, clan also needs more prosperity. 10,000. Okay, well, we're pretty close. Three roots. We could talk about this later. Okay, well, at least now we know what we need. Three roots, so possibly the potatoes or carrots that we have. And Jisoo. Where can I find Jisoo? Let's see. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, in the same house. So we definitely want to increase the size of our inventory. Hello. This weather is a nice change of pace, don't you think? Exchange. Oh, um, okay. Add eight slots. Okay, so it costs prosperity. Fluffy collar. Okay, so bunny hat. Oh, <laughs> so some cosmetics. White wolf hat. Ooh. Okay, so it does cost prosperity instead of a, a type of currency or items. We have to we have to uh, pay with prosperity. Okay, good to know. So we're gonna have to start really really contributing to be able to start affording these things that we want. So we do need to talk to Acre. Is she up? Let's see. It's her daughter. There she is. Work will have to wait until tomorrow. No. Missing resources. Oh, I don't have enough flint. Okay, we got to go back. Got to go back to the, the cave then. Let's go talk to Kroll and finish up our talking with folks today. Thankfully, we don't have to water anything. Since it's a rainy day, that means it's a good day to go to the cave. All right, Kroll. You say you can understand wild animals now. They're friendly and would like to come to this fertile land too? I've seen animals take shelter in caves. Some of them build their own houses like birds and trees. Okay, so he needs regular wood, 40 of it, and two days. We'll talk about this later. 
uh, you know what? I might spend some time doing that instead. It's regular wood, so these birch trees would be just fine. And maybe we can clear off some of the farm as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. All right, 72 logs. Pearl should be able to get started on this now. Oh, not build. How much does he want for a house? Ooh. Okay. 250 contributions. Let's do the idea first. Two days. Animal taming and a place for them to stay. Heck yeah. So we'll need to make some more materials runs for getting our own home built. And for our tools, you can see I cleared out quite a lot here on the farm and we will be needing some better tools. We had a couple of contributions, just some some materials and going to hit the hay because I am out of stamina. And we'll start again tomorrow. Contributions for the day, 90. A hundred a day is not too bad, I would say. Sitting at 556. Oh, the great connector. The clan finished the bridge to cross the jungle. Oh, so we got a new area to explore. Jen and Vak, see you brought Rosalind. Let's get going. Oh, we're exploring it this morning. You tread into the jungle. What are we going to find? Ooh, it's spooky. The air is dense with energy. It feels heartbroken. Hmm. What are we looking at? Hmm. Pacha's voice is in these pictures. I should meditate on them. Ah, okay, so we're not quite sure what to do with this yet. Maybe Vak needs some time. Hmm. Protect him while he meditates on this. Tired and sad, Pacha shook the earth to show what could be achieved by working together. The earthquake. It must be the one that locked us in this land. And Pacha gives you an ancient totem when we find this. Structure. It has to be related. Is it a meteor? She must be asking for our aid. Or is it, is it a tree seed? Are we looking at a stump, actually? I think we are. Show what can be achieved together. We might be looking at a, at a, a tree stump here. Inspect. Oh. Prophecies. Oh, wow. One with the wild. Open details. They explored the regions, gathering fishing and discovering the living creatures of Patch's lands. The lands of Patch were bountiful. Oh. The animals of Patch abounded. Yet to happen. Ah. Huh. Interesting. So it's like their history and as as we as we progress, I wonder what what these reveal to us. It's warm when you touch it. Have you tried? I I have. Whatever Pacha needs, I hope we're up for the task. Seems like she's giving us a lot of tasks to consider now. Hopefully as we journey through it's very dark in this jungle, by the way. As we journey through uh, helping our clan and becoming better at things, those start to fill. I wonder if we're going to get any perks from those being completed. I would hope so. Kind of like the bundles in Stardew Valley or the museum in Sunhaven. That would be really, really cool. I see you, Log. I missed you the other day. <laughs> oh, it looks like actually these respawn. Interesting. Interesting. Well, before I get too carried away with that, you know, we got to water the plants. Ah, we got stuff. We harvested four crops. We've got stuff to harvest. Getting our own seeds. New idea. Yes, yes, yes. We need to do that. Because I can't be going out and getting seeds all the time. That's just not very um, efficient. Wonder who we'll be talking to for that. That's something I feel like we should prioritize for sure. 
Refill. Looks like the beans we can harvest multiple times. That's really cool. I wonder if the tomatoes are going to be the same. And it was Akka that needed roots, right? Maybe we can take her a couple of our carrots. Let's see. Let's open our journal. Igork. Oh, one stop with the farm chores. Talk to him to learn more. Okay. He was right here, wasn't he? Where'd you go, Grandpa? Ah, oh, he's down, down below me. Yes, I would love your help on the farm. I'm too old to be tending crops in the field, but I think I can still help. What if I grew plants to harvest their seeds? Can you always have something to plant? Yes! 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 <laughs> okay, so he's starting on that, and we need to go see Akka and give her the rest of our carrots. Hello, Akka. Let's talk about your idea. And here's your plant fiber. Uh, we've got to wait until we have more prosperity. Okay. Yep, we'll talk about it later. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. That looks yummy. Can I have some? I'm so glad we have Ada. I have no idea what to do when our bodies need fixing. Yeah, me too, friend. Me too. I'm going to keep the three carrots and go ahead and set them aside. Put them in the bin up here. That way we have them when we are ready. Let's see. Who else do we need to talk to? Kroll is working on an idea. Okay, so today we can do whatever we'd like. I think we need to go back up to the caves and get some flint. But I'd also like to kind of clean up here more. Let's head up to the mountain. It's... Uh, we need we need the flint. We need the flint to get a better tool. So that's something we've got to focus on is getting that hammer so we don't have to take two swings to break rocks. So I will see you guys up there uh, in the mine and maybe we'll come across another challenge. Who knows? We did need a fish, right? Let me let me let me go ahead and fish, right? Let's let's bring let's bring a fish and we needed a a, a carrot, right? Maybe I should turn around and get a carrot. Just in case we come across that, that second statue, right? Catch him. Catch him. Are we ready? Catch him. Yay! We need our hand axe, and we are here for flint. As much flint as we can carry. Oh, is this a picture? It is not. Doesn't say I can inspect it. We do have those up there. Okay, and we read that one, and that was fish or carrots, right? wonder where our next statue is going to be then. Oh, there we go. I'm assuming we got to chop through this. There it went. Yep. Hoping we come across a statue. Fingers crossed. Yes! Fish! Yes. We have a fish. I brought a fish accepts the offering. Do I need more? The lit the lights are lit. What else what else does it need? Is it the carrot? It says it accepts. Oh, it's 3. I have to have 3. Oh, so I'm missing a painting, guys. Oh. Okay. Shucks. I'll have to do some more exploration and I am all out of stamina. So I have to spend another day. Wonder, will he give us a hint? You'll need to find out what Owl likes before he accepts you. I think I saw a hint in the previous rooms. So you could take a look. So we're missing one hint. Let's see if we have any paintings that we missed. Maybe it does need a potato. That's totally possible. We'll have to bring a potato up when they when they're harvestable. When I am all out of stamina, so I gotta go back to the farm for the day. All right, to bed for us for the day, and hopefully get us a brand new tool in the morning. Not a, a lot of contributions today, but I tried to at least put something in there. I think we've just been able to unlock the prosperity for Akka. I think we just got over 10,000. 
Ah, and we need to talk to Kroll as well. He's ready to chat. All right, let's see what we need to water here this morning. Plant knowledge up. Carrot knowledge has increased it too. That's good. We've got some, some carrots for Akka because I ended up having to use some in the mines. Go ahead and do our refill. And I think we might have some more seeds to plant. I sure do. Let's get them in the ground. Some beans, some potatoes. A little bit of everything. Okay, back to the watering. Hey, Kroll. Stuck on a tree? I think the animals would like a basic structure similar to our own homes. We'll call it a small shed. It'll have a place to sleep and fresh water so they won't have to go to the river. You've brought enough materials to build- Oh! I would love to build one shed. Absolutely! Can I, can I put it, oh, I can put it anywhere I want. Ooh, you know what? I think right here would be fine. Cool. That's great. I'll start working on it soon. Thanks. Ah, tameable animals can be invited to live in your fields once they're fully attuned. Build an animal shed. They need to eat every day. Each morning, they'll go outside to graze. You can also fill their troughs to make sure they have food to eat if they can't find grass outside. They can be filled with fiber and grains. Animals that haven't been fed the previous day will be hungry and not want to interact with you as much. Makes sense. A hungry animal can be hand fed to alleviate their hunger that day. Sheds need to be cleaned periodically. If left dirty, it'll increase the animal of getting sick. Ooh, okay. I love this mechanic. Absolutely. Where's your wife? I need to talk to your wife. Your wife. Uh, looks like she's by the fire. Starting to learn their little... Yeah, their little symbols on the map. Tools. Please give me a hammer. Awesome. She needs one day for that. We're going to talk to Akka. And research. Two days. Yes. Awesome. So we have a ton of ideas going. Akka's working. Kroll is building us a shed. Aker is building us a hammer slash pickaxe. And I am super, super excited. So I think I'm going to spend some time here on the farm today, continuing to clean up this area. And make sure to leave this grass for our animals since uh, I don't have a way to feed them with like grains or anything yet. So we want to have plenty of plant fiber. I think hopefully that's going to be what we can use to feed them. So I'm going to leave the grass alone and just take care of the wheat, the big weeds and rocks and wood that I can't get past because it's really annoying. Ooh, okay. We got some new smoke signals here. Mary has a new idea. Quero, the sun god, wants to lend us his power. Something about time? Okay. Oka is finished working on their idea for riding the Ibex. Kroll's finished our building. I did finish uh, picking up our, our new hammer. It works fantastic. And it looks like Igarok also wants to talk to us about propagating seeds. Grandpa, what you got for us? Let's see here. Now, you guys can see I already have no stamina, and that's because I've been working hard on the farm today. Let's see. Harvested our first tomatoes. Grandpa, where are you at? Okay, he's over here. But we will run over here and talk to everybody who needs to talk to today. Plants thrive in this land, but why? I tasted the water and it's no different from other places we've been. The wind doesn't blow any weaker or stronger either. But then I smelled the richness of the soil. I put some of it in the vases we used for storage and planted a seed. I, it grew just like the ones in the field. Now it's all that's left to decide is where we want our plant nursery to be. <gasps> it's an actual building! Oh! Oh, where do we want to put it? Oh, there's 13 spots. Oh my gosh. I, I want it right here. Right here. I'm categorizing all the seeds we've accumulated so far. When Kroll's done, you can browse the seeds I have. <gasps> How cool. I'm assuming we'll be able to purchase seeds for prosperity points. That's awesome. Okay. Kroll is next, right? No, who, who do I need to talk to? Mary. 
she is over by the river. Hey, right here. Let's talk to her about this time idea that she had. Pick up the shell on her way. Hello, I've been thinking about Quiro. He always rises from the mountains and goes to sleep on the other side. We can honor him by tracking his shadow every day. I know there's a power hidden in doing that. Ah, she needs 50 stone. And it's right over here in our chest. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that for her. And our new shed is all built. We'll have to go in and check it out. We need 50 for her. So I'll just grab that whole stack of 52 and bring that over so she can start on her idea of time. Maybe she's going to make a sundial. Let's see. Forecast. Ooh, that's right. She does. She does weather forecasts. My right knee hurts. So that always means rain is nearby, but my nose is not picking up any dense, dense air. So it's just humid. Understood. I know that feeling it in your bones. Yes, I was right. Sundial. I know that feeling it in your bones thing. Okay, cool. So we've got a little place to put feed for our animals and we've got a water trough. And then of course we have to muck this shed when we have animals in it. And I have lots of grass growing here. I've been keeping this nice and kept up with and just letting the wild grass grow for our animals. Of course, we've got our tomatoes going and our beans and our quinoa. And I am just so impressed. And the, the tomatoes are multiple harvest, by the way. So that's super, super impressive. I did put a few of our crops back here just in case. And I have a potato in my inventory for the owl statue, just in case that is the last one that we needed for that. Now, what were our other quests? Kroll? Yes, he finished that building. Akka, we need to go talk to Akka, that's right. Where are you? You're down here by your fire, as always. Or by her, her house, rather. I think animals will let us ride them if we cushion our weight with a blanket. Make sure to gain the animals' trust by giving them gifts. Otherwise, I don't think they'll let you ride them. Cool. So we need to invite animals to our farm. Let's go back to the forest. We got to go north here. And I think we just have to go like talk to the animal to get it to move in. So remember, we prevented boars already and the ibex already. So let's see. Let's see what perks we might get from bringing animals into Pacha. Oh, there's an ibex. OK, so we go up here and we say invite. No animals select move to the shed. Yes. <gasps> so we have one Ibex. Inspect. Invite. Ah, so we have to do it per animal. I see. I see. Light brown Ibex. I don't know. Was that a male or a female? This is a female because we want one of each, right? To be able to breed. Already played music today. Okay. Yeah. You can only do it once per day. Otherwise, you'd be cheese in the system. I totally get it. Up the mountain we go to find the the boars that we have been playing music for. Hey, the baby white one. Okay, so we've played for this guy before, right? There wasn't an option to invite, so I'm assuming, I'm hoping, question mark, that after this attenu attenuation, that we can invite this boar. So I think we've played for this brown one over here, too. OK, so that's a female. Pick up these potato seeds before I forget. And let me see about you. Oh, I can invite you already. OK, so that other Ibex was a female. OK. Can I can I see what your gender is, though? You are male. OK, let's go ahead and invite you. Accept. All right. And then this gray. The gray boar, where did you go? Oh, you're over here by the water. All right, I invited our animals and I did end up realizing that I had a little male Ibex who was just uh, one attenuation, attenu attenuation away from uh, being able to move in. So I'm going to grab some fiber here outside in our chest and see if that's what they eat. 
fingers crossed and go ahead and fill the troughs for the day because I'm unsure if it is going to rain. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. I have lots of that. Lots of that. So we will check back in the morning to see how they are doing. I'm assuming as long as there's not bad weather outside that they come outside to eat. Assuming. But just in case, I want to make sure that they have food. Ooh, almost at 15,000. And I gave 72 today. All right. Going to have to step it up. I think we need 500 for that tool belt increase from Jizu. Oh, we're opening another area already. We opened the jungle. And I wonder where this is going to lead. Oh, new people. Excuse me. Crack. Oh, hello. We heard all the hammering and wondered what was happening. I'm Reese. And who might you be? Crack. This is my dad, Brub, and my mom, Enza. Nice to meet you. The leader of the Yakuans. Oh, new people. You have to meet everyone. And maybe share a drink, too. Absolutely. You wish to share with us? Absolutely, we do. All right, then. Exchange stories over fire. I don't want to be argumentative, but for the hundredth time, we aren't Magrani. But that huge fire. I've met a pageant before, dear. They follow the trees. We do. We haven't met any Magrani. And you don't want to. Fangs. They have fangs. Oh, dear. That seems a little ridiculous. Mm, seems like they're afraid of this other group. A child from our clan was almost thrown into a fire by one of them. Oh, wow. It is. They have an unnatural obsession with fire. We think their presence is causing an imbalance that threatens our survival. You've given us much to think about. Ooh, I hope our clans can be friends. Of course, you're always welcome to visit. I'd like that. You have some lovely fishing around here. Mm, new friends! I wonder what this new area is going to be. Can we check our map? New smoke, sig smoke signals. Let's do that first. You met the Yakuans. People of the sea live to the south of you. They're friendly, but seem to be in conflict with another nearby clan. All right. Let's see. Kroll and I added horns around the, the land to help you call your mount. Oh, how cool. Some of our animals have fur. You can now get a razor from, from Agar to share them. Oh, yay! Some of them produce milk, yes! Okay, so we need a bucket and a shearing tool from Agar. And then Mary's still working on the sundial. Cool. We have so much stuff to explore every single time we open this game, and I absolutely love it. It's just, it's absolutely fantastic. There's just so much I want to do, and I want to clear out this farm and, and go see these new people, and Maggie wants to bark at every single thing known to man. But I'm going to take care of these crops, and then I'm going to take a break for the day, and you guys will just have to hang on until the next episode. Check out a, another video from me in the meantime right here on the screen, and I'll see you guys later for another video. Bye.